A model is a mathematical representation of real-world conditions. We use different types of models every day when we plan activities around a weather forecast, decide how to best invest our financial resources, or calculate driving time based on current traffic conditions. Researchers from a variety of disciplines develop and use models to study complex, real-world problems. At the University of Michigan Water Center, we use models to represent systems such as watersheds and lakes. We use the models to evaluate the potential impacts of different management strategies on physical, chemical, and biological processes such as hydrology, nutrient cycling, crop growth. We also use models to assess current conditions and predict future changes. Modeling frameworks are built upon previous research findings, and modelers rely on existing data and knowledge of the system to make deliberate and informed decisions about how to develop and calibrate their models. Visual and statistical evaluations built into the process help the modeler assess how well the simulation they produce matches observations. These validation checks also help modelers assess how well a model characterizes the conditions it is designed to represent. For any given system, there may be many reasonable models developed. Each model is unique due to the decisions the modeler makes in building it, and each model has strengths and weaknesses. Using multiple independently developed models of the same system is extremely valuable. In many fields, models are used to conduct scenario analysis. Running the same scenario on multiple models of the same system illustrates the range of potential outcomes. It increases our confidence in model results and can smooth out the extremes of any given model. Through collaborative research efforts, the Water Center is advancing efforts to protect water quality. We are promoting the use of the multiple model approach for lake, watershed, and climate applications. This approach is helping people make more informed land management and water policy decisions in the Great Lakes Basin. This work was supported by the Herb Family Foundation. To learn more about the Water Center, visit us online at graham.umich.edu forward slash water.